welcome to the start of my vlogging journey and so it's April right now and within the next three days I'm gonna attend a conference from the sustainable packaging coalition and in this conference it's about learning as you guessed it more about sustainable packaging across different industries and it's gonna be I think really interesting because I am still new to the consumer products world but you know with products there comes packaging right and so can't wait to show you guys a bit i hope i'm able to vlog a little might be a little weird but I'll, I'll try to get something in there um but yeah i'll check back later and yeah check back <laughs> The first day, there are some topics that I did find interesting. Since I am pretty new to the space, I actually don't really know so much about the legislation that's going around regarding waste and packaging overall. And something that I found interesting is that there is something called AB1201 and that came out pretty recently, but that's supposed to allow foods and products that are actually compostable to be labeled as such. And so you have to go through this whole criteria process to make sure that things are actually compostable and needs to be, for example, like USDA organic certified and everything. So there's another talk that talked about decarbonization and the packaging's role within it. And I, I thought it was pretty interesting because like, and any company that has environmental goals and especially if they have like a carbon goal as well as like a materials goal as an example of the industry I'm in and it's conflicting sometimes because there are for example some materials that are more sustainable but the way that it's derived would release more carbon than the original material so I think it was just interesting talking about how companies really do have to think about the trade-offs but overall in terms of packaging what's being done now and being looked at is really just trying to use less material overall and so when you are using less material overall you are in a way reducing the carbon footprint the kimchi flavor and so i'm really excited to try this for dinner tonight i know my stomach's gonna hate me but girls gotta eat what she loves sometimes finished dish it kind of looks messy but i added more kimchi and then cheese and then the furukake because i love that shit i mean i love that stuff oops <laughs> So one of the things I wanted to chat about was just talking a little bit about um, how I was able to have that conversation with my parents about doing a major that I wanted to do. I think that was a big portion of what my motivations were in life is to prove them that I can do what it is I wanted to do. And um, for the longest time when I was young, I wanted to be a violinist at one point and then I wanted to be a baker and open my own bakery and then hearing no from my parents made me think like, well, okay, I guess I can't do what it is that I like to do. So when I went to college, I started off doing like business and econ and then I was doing like science classes because, you know, those are things that were looked as a good thing in my culture. Um, but then... When I took the environmental science class and I really wanted to do it and I realized that this is something that I needed to tell my parents I wanted to do, 
my conversation did not go well i'm not gonna lie i remember i went to my dad one night and i told him that i want to major in environmental science and he was just very confused of what that was he's like what is that and he was telling me like no like don't do that do something else like you need to make more money than what it's telling you online because online at the time it was like oh environmental scientist it was like 60k and being a person who doesn't really make money i was like isn't that good enough question mark like not everyone needs to make six figures but now realizing california you gotta go for that 6k it's very important yeah he totally just disapproved of it but i understand now because I know that he just wanted the best for me and making sure that where I was going towards was guaranteed that I'd be living comfortably. But overall, you know, do what you want to do. Just have a game plan and make sure that you follow that game plan. And it's really important to go for what your heart believes and where you feel like you should end up because everyone deserves to have the life that they want to have. But you also just need to be smart and balancing out your wants also versus what you need. And it is really different for everyone, you know? And so find out what your needs are, what your wants are, find a middle ground because life's not always perfect, but go for what you want. I can't. <laughs> <laughs>